Oh God, yes. I mean, you know, you could see it on his face. He looked, he looked like somebody has held a steaming turd under his nose. Uh, and it was horrible. It was a horrible gimmick. And it was, and then they buried Tom Pritchard when they made him, you know, his partner. It was just, it was stupid is what it was. But that was during the nineties. Everybody had to have a profession. There was a garbage man and a hockey player. And here's the, the fitness, you know, experts, the body Donna's, uh, Chris was a tremendous talent and, and way beyond his, his age. Uh, and he not only could work athletically, but once he got in Knoxville and he started traveling with all those veterans and being around Tom Pritchard and Stan Lane and Jimmy Del Rey and, and uh, dirty white boy and Tracy Smothers and Bob Armstrong and all those guys, then he started learning psychology and he picked that up so quick and, you know, he could nail finishes and he could cut promos. He could do just everything. And they just, you know, they brought him up and they said, oh, here's this short little guy. He reminds me of that Tony Little. Let's make him a fitness guy because they didn't take him seriously. And then Sonny pulled out of the pack because they weren't used to that many gorgeous, hot young girls at that point. And, you know, and that once that she got over, then they just left Chris to float. Uh, but he was the star of the family and the star of the show uh, as far as if you were running a wrestling promotion. But since it was a you know, basically sideshow circus character moment. Uh, he, it just, it, it buried him and, and he was miserable. And, and I mean, they knew he was miserable too. It's not like he hid it. And I, I used to tell him, Hey, at least you're here. Maybe something will happen, but I couldn't come up with that much rosiness to, to paint it, you know, uh, in a better light for him. He knew it sucked. It sucked. It was horrible. It was obvious. Now rebook it. If Chris Candido could go in as Chris Candido in 1995, where do you think he would have fell into the pack with the rest of that roster? Well, the rest of that roster at that time, once again, it, you know, everybody was fucking huge. Everybody was huge, whether they could carry it or not, whether they could work or not, everybody was huge. And he was a little guy. I would have, you know, I, everybody knows what I would have had a roster more like Smoky Mountain wrestling rather than, than uh, to be honest, than a bunch of, huge six foot six guys that were 300 pounds and everybody doing the same shit. I'd had guys that could work and guys that can bump and tried to give them some more action, uh, which is what they ended up doing later on. But it just, it was a horrible time in 95, 96.